Well, I wanted to bring to your notice a piece by a very modern writer indeed. He, uh, he's from San Francisco. He's of the so-called beat generation. In fact, I have heard him called a beatnik, but I think that's unjust. His name is Jack Kerouac. This is from a book of Jack Kerouac's, which is called The Dharma Bums. Apparently, Jack Kerouac, or rather the character in his book, had been around the bars and burlesque shows in San Francisco too much. He had a stomach full of that, so he went high, high up in the Cascade Mountains to a cabin there to get together with himself. And in the last days of his stay there, he had what amounts to a religious experience. And this is the account of it. Morning, the definite feeling of autumn coming. I chop wood with my hat on and would feel lazy and wonderful indoors, fogged in by icy clouds. In front of the stove, I read my Western magazines. Night made hot cocoa and sang by the wood fire. Dark, wild nights with hint of bears. Down in my garbage pit, old soured, solidified cans of evaporated milk, bitten into and torn apart by mightily behemoth paws. And finally the snow came. It came surling my way, sending radiant white heralds through which I saw the angel of light peep and the wind rose. Suddenly, a green and rose rainbow shafted right down into Starvation Ridge, not 300 yards away from my door, like a boat, like a pillar. It came among steaming clouds and orange sun turmoiling. The lake was milk white a mile below. It was just too crazy. I went outside. And suddenly my shadow was ringed by the rainbow as I walked on the hilltop. A lovely, haloed mystery, making me want to pray. And I said, God, I love you. And I looked up to the sky and I really meant it. I have fallen in love with you, God. Take care of us all, one way or the other. Now comes the sadness of coming back to cities, and I've grown two months older, and there's all that humanity of bars and burlesque shows and gritty love all upside down in the void. God bless them. And in keeping with my friend Jaffe's habit of always getting down on one knee and delivering a little prayer to the camp we left, to the one in the Sierra and the others in Marin County, as I was hiking down the mountain with my pack, I turned and knelt on the trail and said, Thank you, Shaq. And then I added, Blah, with a little grin, because I knew that Shaq in the mountain would understand what that meant. And I turned and went on down the trail back to this world. Now, that isn't bad for a man who's been called a beatnik, is it?